She had a little wild side. She snuck out every night and broke all daddy's rules. Go down to the riverside, jam out the old day light. She was the one. She said, Hey, boy, do you mind swinging me home around nine? Don't Hey, you remember when Dad used to take us out on, on drives like this? We'd be in the back of his pickup. <laughs> I remember one time we hit that bump over at Lennon. <laughs> you almost fell out. <laughs> Dad whooped my ass so much that night for not holding on to you. <laughs> so today was fun, right? Got to see everybody. Everybody just kept asking about how you've been. Why are you still on that phone? You got a boyfriend up north or something? Is that why you ain't said much today? <laughs> now, I remember that time uh, uh, you told mom about that, that cowboy that asked you to the dance back in middle school. <laughs> mom was just, she was just so like not. Why do you have to bring that shit up? What do you mean? <laughs> the past. You, you bring. Ever since mom died, you just act like you're the good guy, that you care. You bring up fond memories as if you were there. You were never there. You only cared about yourself. You're a self-centered, ignorant asshole, John. <sighs> Look, let's just put the flowers on mom's grave and leave. The sooner, the better. You're in luck, because we're almost there. So if you don't mind me asking, what exactly happened up in New York that made you such a bitch? It's none of your business. Besides, why do you want to know? Because, Laura, like it or not, I'm your brother. I'm your redneck, tractor ride, trailer living, booze drinking, asshole brother. And you're my kid sister, Laura. Are you coming? Don't you just have to walk down there and put the flowers down? I've got a long drive in the morning. I would rather go home to the house and sleep. You seriously gonna be like this? I mean, when was the last time that we were up here together? No clue. Yeah, well, well I do. It was the day before you left to go to New York. Remember, we came up here together, and you kept talking about how you just wanted to run away from here. I said we'd do it, we'd do it together someday. Remember, you left, and well, at the time I didn't really know why. Of course, now I know it's because of Dad. God knows he wasn't the best man in the world to live with. 
especially after mom died. I just couldn't take it anymore. He was always angry and it seemed like, like we were the ones to blame. Yeah, yeah. And I knew you really didn't want to leave. I just couldn't take his shit anymore. I, you know, needed to get out, needed to go and start a new life. He was mad. Everyone else seemed mad. You... Well, well I was mad because you left and, and didn't say goodbye. And then I, I started... Well, I... Well, I guess that's how we go so many years about, without talking to each other. Hey, uh, open the glove box. What? <laughs> Just look in the damn thing. <laughs> oh my. I was going for some of Mom's old stuff and I found that. It's been years since I'd seen it and I, I, I just figured that you'd ought to have it. Thank you, Johnny. Don't, don't call me Johnny, bitch. <laughs> don't call me Laura, asshole. <laughs> Wonder what happened to the one from last time. Mm -hmm. Well, every month I usually bring brings flowers up here to put on the grave, and the one from the month before is always gone. Well, there's this the flowers must have died, and there's this thing called the caretakers. He must have just thrown them out into the woods over there. Hey, hey, you remember that night we actually snuck down here? <laughs> I think we were just bored, looking for something to do. Remember? <laughs> yeah, we came on down here, and, uh, and I ran off and disappeared. You ran after me, but you couldn't keep up. <laughs> remember? I was, I was behind that very tree there, and when you got close, I jumped out at you. <laughs> remember that? <laughs> yeah. I remember you scared the hell out of me. I also remember telling mom and she was pissed. It was so worth it. You were so scared. <laughs> what? You're still scared? Oh my God. You really are. Stop it, I mean it. <laughs> They're coming to get you, Laura. Johnny, where? He's coming. I'm getting out of here.
now. Would you please try No. No, please, God.
get through here. I promise you, I can handle it. It's probably going to be a lot more than soon, though. Okay? But everything's going to be all right. Trust me. So, my truck ran out of gas. And I noticed the barn out back had canisters in it. So I tried to open it, but it was locked. Some of these old farmhouses had gas canisters in the back. And like I said, I went to the barn out back by the building. I tried to open it. up here and I saw you and that's when I got some hope you know to the first living human that I've seen in hours I tell you what why don't you go see if you can find some more boards I know you're scared. I'm scared too. But if we're going to get out of here, we've got to work together. If there's no key, then the only thing we can do is stay here until help arrives. But I need your help. We've got to get this place boarded up, and I can't do it by myself. Can you? Can you help me, please? See, yours is dead too. Yeah, mine went dead a few hours ago. I don't know. Maybe the towers went down or something. Or could be just a lot of people. I don't know. Ooh. 
baby here. This isn't yours? One good thing's for sure, you don't have to worry about running out of ammo. There's plenty of that here. But not enough to go out there though. It's food. Lights. MP3 player. Well, at least we know we're not going to starve. But we got food, lights, and music. Hell, some of these even pick up radio stations. My name's Ben. What's yours? Laura. Ah, I'm glad to hear you speak. I was beginning to wonder about you. Look, I know we're stuck here, but I got this place boarded up pretty good, so we're safe here. You don't have to worry about them. We're safe. What's happening? I don't know. All I remember is I was listening to the radio this morning and the news lady was saying something about this bizarre story about this man from Miami that ate this homeless guy's face off. You remember that? Well, anyway, I didn't really think that much about it. I just went on to church, and when I came back, I noticed people at Fred's, you know that country store on the main road? It spooked me out. No one's never really there on a Sunday. I stopped and noticed people were rushing in, rushing out with food. So I walks in. I wanted to ask someone what was going on. I saw a few people looking at TV behind the counter and it was on the news and the headline said something about uh, a viral uh, pandemic, mass murder, even more bullshit like speculation about Al-Qaeda. Yeah, <laughs> people still talking about that. Before I could do anything else. We heard this boom. Running outside, we saw where this tractor trailer had jackknifed. Right there in front of the place. People were running, screaming. That's when I noticed. Had to have been well over a dozen of them. They swarmed the truck. I watched as they crawled into the cab through the windshield. They, they, they started eating him. His screams, his screams before I knew it, those things was coming for us. This one, this one good old boy, he had a dirty hairy gun. So I'm blast one of those things right in the chest. Right in his heart. He had it. Right in his heart. But it was, it just kept coming. Like nothing had happened. Huh. Shot to the head brought it down though. Yeah. A shot to the head. I somehow made it to my truck. I got the hell out of there. John, my brother and I were coming back from a family reunion. We were heading to the cemetery to see our mother's grave. There was this man there. I bumped into him. 
before I could say anything, he grabbed me. He forced me to the ground. And he was, he was trying to bite me. John managed to get him off of me as he was reaching to help me up. The man, he, it grabbed him. It ripped into his neck. I tried to help, but I got knocked out in the process. When I got up, I saw the man, John, oh my God, it was, it was eating him, it was eating him, it was eating him, it was eating him. Hey, hey, it's okay. It was eating him. It's okay. <laughs> It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be all right. Yeah, we heard the girl, but fuck, we were scared. 
ma'am. Honest. How'd you get here, Tom? Oh, uh, me and my girlfriend, we've been here before. We come here to, um, uh... Harry! Harry, please! Look, we can talk about this downstairs. Me and Sarah got here this morning. The place has been abandoned for years, so we just walked in. And then, um, after, after, uh, uh... Well, anyway, one of those things came in. Damn it, we've heard this before. I didn't. Finish the story, Tom. Well, like I said, you know, me and Sarah came in, and one of those things came in and grabbed Sarah, and almost bit her too. And I pulled him off of her, he came at us again, and I pulled out my knife, and I, in the struggle, I ended up stabbing him right in the stomach. And, I mean, I got him good. He, he should have gone down, but he didn't. So, we grabbed Sarah, and we ran out the front door, and that's when we saw Mr. Cooper coming in, and running with his family, a couple of those things behind him. We ran back in the front door, locked it, and went in the cellar. We've been down there ever since, until you guys came here. You said they showed up. From where? What are you looking for? A car? Out by the main road, flat tire. We, we got swarmed by those things. We barely made it out alive. I'm kidding this girl here, they don't have one, if you can believe that. What about you? Outside. Out of gas. Hey, there's some old gas canisters in the building out back. There might still be something in them. Look, I know that. I tried to get in, but they were chained up. You couldn't just blast the lock? Look, man, this stuff isn't mine. It was left here by someone else. Yeah, I guess that's someone else you didn't hear of, huh, Cooper? There's a key around. I mean, we can look for it. Most of the original stuff is still here. We can find it while we're looking around. Well, look, we need to reinforce these windows. We might find the key in the process. This is fucking ridiculous. All I'm hearing are maybes. You want to waste time up here where you're looking for a key you, that may find some cans that may have some gas in it? Uh, meanwhile, there's a million different places those things could come in here. The cellar is the only place okay, that... Okay, look, look. In case you haven't noticed, it's a fucking death trap, Cooper. Look, at least up here we have a fighting chance. Shit, we even got a chance of getting out of here that doesn't involve being on foot. You, you, you're crazy. If you want to stay up here and die, fine. But I'm taking the radio and the girl with me. Look, if you want to go lock yourself up down in that pit, then you go ahead and do it. But me, the girl, and the fool, and every goddamn thing else stays up here, Cooper. You know why? Because I'm boss up here, Cooper. And you, you boss down there in the sun. And don't forget that. Are you coming? I'm not opening this door again. Sarah, come up here. Y'all are fucking morons. Tom, we gotta get those boys up. Sarah, take this. Hey, are you okay? My name's Sarah. Isn't it obvious? They decided to stay upstairs. Doesn't matter. It's safer down here anyway. Well, what about Tom and Sarah? It's safer down here, Helen. Well, did those people know what's going on? No. Of course they didn't know what's going on. It doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> why, Harry, why is that? Because it's safer down here. Those boards aren't going to make a difference up there. It's, it's, it's a million different places those damn things could get in. This is the only safe place I know. Just watch. They're going to come banging on that door. They're going to come begging to get in here. I'll show them that this oh is the... Oh, my God! I cannot believe you're doing this. Doing what? This Mr. Self-Righteous, holier-than-thou thing you do. Those, those things, those things are right, right outside. And you're down here bragging about how right you are. Why don't you do something? I am doing something! What the fuck are you I'm doing? I'm keeping her safe! How is she? Still asleep. I don't get it, though. She's sweating and, and like burning up with a fever, but she's cold as ice. And I don't know what else to do for her, but I know we've got to get her to a doctor soon. I know, I know. She'll... She'll be okay. 
You just watch for him. We're all gonna be okay. Looks like we can get out of here. Yeah, let's get the window security first. Oh. What did Tom mean about getting out of here? There may be a, a, some gas cans for their truck in a building out back. They need the key to... The key? And you didn't even bother to look for it? Helen, there was no way of knowing. Helen! Helen! Take those to your daughter. We're gonna get out of here, but we're gonna get some gas first. Everything's gonna be okay. I promise. Hey, you hear that, kid? We're gonna be just fine. It's, it's 
Karen's. I don't know how to use it. She's always better at these things than I am. Thank you for these. Windows and doors are secure. That should keep them out for a little while longer. Give me that hammer. Tom, me and you need to make a run for some gas. We're going through this door. Wait, y'all can't go out there by yourselves. What if something happens? I'm going to come with you. Sarah, no, it's not safe. What, you think I can't handle myself? That's not what I said. Fuck you. Just make it quick. This plan is nuts. Shut up, Terry. But why do you have to go? Because I'm the only one, Sarah. You've seen how Ben and Mr. Cooper are. They wouldn't last five minutes out there. Don't argue with me about this. Well, then let me come with you. I can be some help. Oh. No, no. You're staying here. It's not... What? Safe? You think I'm some damn damsel in distress? Sarah? No. Don't you Sarah me. I'm not like Laura in the other room that can't even move. And I'm sure as hell ain't like Miss Cooper in there. I'm going with you. I'm going to help save your ass. It's not like I'll be alone. Ben will be with me. And if something were to happen to him, you'd be stuck out there by yourself. You need someone else to help watch your back. I just don't want anything to happen to you. Nothing's going to happen to any of us. We just need to get the hell out of here. Stubborn woman. Tom! Yeah? Hurry up! Come on! I love you. I love you too. Okay, look, we're gonna go out, lock it, but don't board it up. When we get back, if we have time, then we'll try to figure out how to get everyone else to the truck, safe. Okay? Don't bullshit me, Cooper. Tom, Sarah, let's go.
Look, don't start that. You, you killed us. You killed Tom, and now you nearly killed her. You're really gonna start that, Cooper? Yeah. Well, we were doing fine in the cellar by ourselves until you came along. You wanna blame me? If you would've came up here when we needed you, we would've gotten gas and been out of here by now. But no, you're a stupid, selfish, childish coward. Dust you up. Stop it! Harry! Harry, 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 that's enough! That's enough bullshit out of the both of you! The two of you arguing is not gonna get my daughter out of here! Besides, there's a bigger problem. Whatever this is, it's everywhere. This is Ariel Kelly coming live from the BCN newsroom. Early this morning, the CDC released new information concerning the origin of our global crisis. The recently deceased who rose up from the dead and began to attack the living were indeed infected with the LQP79 virus. The CDC is also confirming previous reports about how the virus is transmitted. The CDC is now saying that the virus can be transmitted by body fluids in close contact with the infected. Signs and symptoms of the virus and Harry, shakiness, you heard her. Fever. All you need to get infected is to is to get a little bit of the blood from those things on them. Well, all three of you have got blood from those things on them. You're all infected. And you, you've been bitten. That means the virus is going to travel faster. I'm not going to turn into one of those things. Cooper, load the damn gun. What are you going to do, huh? She tried to die or two? She was bit too, you bastard.
what's up? So I'm off the back side of Tuck's property over here. I ain't seen anything at least 30 minutes. No, no, it's been a while. Hey, hold on, I'll call you back. I see two phone calls too. Down three more while we off the back side of Tucks. Where you at? Okay, I'll be over there in just a minute. All right, I'm on the way. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat upon him was Death, and Hell followed with him. Mm -hmm.